Hi hey guys, it's Mikaela and welcome back to my channel and welcome to Project Pan update number three. I'm sad to say that I did not finish anything this month, however, I did make some pretty decent progress. Not as much as I would have liked to though. I don't feel like I wore makeup as much this month as I have in the last couple of months. I don't know why, just probably just didn't feel like I needed it as much this month. But let's just go ahead and get right into it. I've got my items behind me right here. Um, let's go ahead and get into the brows and this is it's the benefit cut brow this here is a hundred uses goal I have used this nine times this month which means I only have 75 uses left until I can roll it out and realistically I'd like to pick up the pace a little bit I just I have a hard time wanting to use this formula on my brows because I feel like it takes forever however I did start using it as an eyeliner. I only used it a couple of times, but now that I've figured out that this would makes a really pretty eyeliner, I might go ahead and get some more uses out of it. So uh, my goal is to use it a minimum of eight times each month, and I did. However, I would like to, I'm going to keep that goal, but I'd like, just like to see how much more I could use this to maybe roll it out before the end of the year. Um, and by doing eyeliner with it could help me with that, especially on days that I do both eyeliner and my brows that'll up the usage goal. Now I have my Milk Makeup Blur Stick. I use this a total of 11 times this month. 11 times. You can see the line is up a little bit. I, I seem to be making steady progress. However, I just, at this rate, it might take me the majority of the year to finish this, and I was hoping that this would be done by at least the end of summer, so I might try to use it a little bit more this month. I say that about all my items. Realistically, I'm just trying to use them, just keep them in the rotation, pretty much. I would like to use them up, but I also want to make sure I'm using other products in my collection. So, there's... I would like to maybe use this a little bit more, but we'll just see how we go. Again, this project pan for me is not, I have to use it. It's just pretty much keeping it in my makeup rotation until it is gone or I have reached my usage goal. My next item, and this item I was hoping to have used up this month, unfortunately I did not use it as much as I would have liked, and it is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation. When I did the markings, I kind of just guessed. I feel, felt like the, I'm pretty much at the pan, like where you see the line versus where the end of the pan is, is right there. I can no longer pump this, so I am having to take a brush in and get it out. And every time I do that, I do see the pan for a brief second, and then it just, the liquid covers it, which I'd expect. I did only use this six times this month. I was really hoping to have it finished, if not by this update, by the next one. However, I just don't, I didn't quite make it there. Um, again, I, I really would like to finish this this month. Maybe this will be the month, but realistically, it may be another two months, and I know I've been saying that since the beginning of the project. I know I could finish it. I know I'm so close, so I just need to put my mind to it and use it, and realistically, maybe use it 10 to 15 times. I, I doubt that I will, but if I could realistically use it to 10 to 15 times this month, and then even the following month, I can have this done by early summer. I do have another foundation that I'm looking forward to rolling in for the summer seasons. I know by the time summer gets here, this will definitely be done. I just don't know if it'll be this by the next update or the update after that. And then we have another one of my 100 uses project, my more products. And this is the Ulta Beauty Baked Bronzer. I use this a total of nine times, which means I have 68 times left to go. I can see myself making a dip. I don't think I'll hit pan by the time the 100 uses is up, but I definitely see the dip going, and I am enjoying panning this. I enjoy using this. It's definitely a fun one, and <clears throat> the Ulti Beauty brand, it really is a good brand. You feel like you're getting good quality makeup for a good, affordable price, so um, I'm enjoying panning this. This has been a good one. And then we have another one, which is my ColourPop Super Shock Cheek Blush in the shade Too Cool for School. Uh, I quit working on the center pan. I started trying to round out the side pan. 
I only use this about six times this month, so I would like to realistically use it more times and maybe try to finish this by like late fall, early winter. Um, progress is a little bit slow, but I do enjoy this blush. I enjoy this blush color. When I wear this bright blush, it usually depends on my eyeshadow and if I have tones that work with this. Uh, this is my first go-to and I do have tones in that. And this is just a day-by-day -day basis or week-by-week -week basis depending on what eyeshadow palette I have in my rotation for that week. I do switch those weekly. Um, but I am... I do enjoy this. It's not like last year's blush where I completely just did not like using it. I enjoy using this. It's just a matter of making it work with the rest of my face makeup. And we've got the e.l.f. Baked Highlighter. Uh, I used this a total of 22 times, so not as many times as last month, which was 27, but still a good product to use. I broke the lid, which is to be expected, especially for an e.l.f. product, and especially for as long as I've had this. I'm making good progress, it's probably going to take me the majority of the year to finish this, if not going into next year. Um, but if I can continue at this pace, I'm happy with it. I'm not mad at it by any means. I do use it, for the most part, not every day because some eye primers don't work as well. But for the most part, I try to use it to set my eye primer as well as much as possible. As well as use it for my highlighter. Um, but some eye, I feel like some eye primers are a little bit tackier so they need more of a setting powder base versus a highlighter base. It's definitely not as powdery as like a powder so that I can successfully set my base but for a highlighter it's beautiful and for when I'm wanting to highlight the brow bone it's beautiful as well. Up I have my Ulta or my Urban Decay Vice lipstick in the shade Liar that has been depotted. I use this a total of 11 or of 11 times this month and I am actually really happy. I think that next month might be the month. I do use this consistently. It is my most used lip product. I do have quite a bit left, but I also have quite a bit. Like, I'm mostly just scraping out the sides of the pan at this point. So I think that I could definitely finish this up next month at the very latest, the following update after that. But I think I'm going to just try to make it a goal to just get use, get as much use out of this as possible this month. If I can use it, last month I used it 16 times, so if I can use it again, I can possibly, there's a very good chance I could finish it, so I might make that just a personal ambition, a personal goal to roll this out so I can roll something in next month. And with that, that is everything. Unfortunately, there, is, there are no new roll-ins. This is a rolling project pan, but I feel like this one and this one are my two goals to finish within the next couple of months. These two will definitely be out of my collection sooner rather than later. I am enjoying panning both of these. Um, I am I'm excited and I can't wait until next month's progress and with that I hope you enjoyed this video and I will catch you in the next one. God bless and bye guys.